What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. My God, is it hot as hell in here? I'm gonna take this hoodie off. Jesus Christ. About to burn the hell alive. <sighs> All right, guys, where were we? All right, today, today's video is going to be some more custom WWE figure championships you can make yourself. Yes, ma'am, you can see them right here. We've done this twice in the past. You need to go check them out on the channel if you have not already. Uh, typically, these belts, they don't require any paint. They don't require any sanding. They don't require any decal work. They don't require any sort of customization at all. You can literally do this yourself. Uh, you may need some, uh, some hot air or water, but that shouldn't be required. These belts should be flimsy enough for you to you know switch out the plates and everything so what we've done here today guys is again we've done this twice in the past if you guys have missed it <clears throat> got the phlegm in the throat what was that just getting constantly attacked by the masses hot freaking temperature freaking phlegm in the throat see trying to take me out anyways where were we so what we do guys is we 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 take the championships that mattel gives us you can see here maybe a little bit you got a universal title here united states championship here wwe title there and we take those championships and you guys know that on the back of these championships there's little uh, little lips right there that keep the, the plate onto the strap. Well, you unplug that, and you can switch out the plates on the championship. So that is what I have done here today. Again, there are two videos. It's called Custom WWE Figure Belts You Can Make Yourself, and there is a more Custom WWE Figure Belts You Can Make Yourself on the channel, and there may be a playlist. If there is a playlist, I'll go ahead and make one so you can watch all three of them in a row if you'd like. But getting into them here, guys, we have four, five, six more, seven, you stupid jackass. Seven custom championships that we're going to reveal here today and we're going to talk about them. So let's go ahead and get started with our first one. And this one's probably the most boring in my personal opinion. Well, it's not like terrible, but it is a little bit different here. What we've done is taken the United States Championship and we switched out the middle plate with the European Championship. So this is the European Championship side plates. It gives it a little bit more square block look and the strap looks pretty good for this. The lip uh, down here does overgo the strap just a little bit, but it's not that noticeable. You know, if you put it on a figure, it would look pretty good. And I like this. You know, you got your red on the side there. You got some blue over here, so it kind of ties it all together, and it looks all right. It's nothing too crazy again, but um, I think, uh, I don't know, if you just want something different for your pick fed or you want something different for your show, I think that you would easily use this United States Championship, and it works pretty solid. Next up, guys, we have one that I'm actually pretty freaking excited about, and it is the North American Championship on the WWF Championship Blue Strap. You know, the one that came with the Attitude Era Amazon exclusive Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. This is what that is, or this is the strap, and obviously the NXT North American Championship came with the Elite 71 Adam Cole and all I did was pop out the middle plate and pop it. I popped out the middle plate and I obviously put the North American Championship plate on there and I think it looks pretty bomb man. I think it looks kind of like a boxing championship. It has you know like the blue circular motion. I tried to stick this plate on a Smackdown tag title. It didn't really work out. I tried to put it on the Raw tag title. It didn't really work out and I tried to you know flip and flop. Did not work out so I tried this strap and it works so I figured why the hell not. I think it looks beautiful. I think that if anybody wants to make a cool looking championship I think this could even work for a United States championship. If you were to come in here and maybe cover up Mexico and Canada up here you could probably make this into a U United States championship. That would obviously require some pain but if you just wanted to make your own North American title that's not the one that we got from Mattel. It's not the one that looks like WWE's. This is one of your options. And another option that we have is this one right here and it is the same thing but obviously on the black strap because we have two different versions of the WWF championship. We have the black strap version which is just the you know the more common version because they, they pretty much got rid of the blue strap immediately you have the black strap and then you have the blue strap comment down below which one you like better you like the black strap or the blue strap i'm on i'm honestly on the fence i think both look pretty good but i think i go with the blue i just think it's pretty unique looks pretty cool and uh, i don't know man that could be a future vindication title what do you think that looks pretty badassery not gonna lie to you We'd have to slap some MDT logos, some paint and stuff on it, but I like it, man. Pretty good stuff. So that is two belts. We got both of those belts knocked out, so three down, four more to go here, guys. We're going to take a look at this next championship, and this is a new Intercontinental Championship, and it kind of is weird. Like, I'm not big on this strap right here in the middle. You guys can kind of see. Once you bend it in, it's not as bad. You can see it's not as bad, but you can totally tell that the middle of the strap wants to, like, shift over, and that's kind of annoying, but... I love the way the blue comes off on the planet in the middle and then on the other, you know, the different sh sides of the world uh, on the side plates looks really, really good tying into the blue. But this is the Purple Strap Intercontinental Championship that came with the ringside exclusive rock figure. And all we did was took the current day white Intercontinental Championship and switched the middle plate out with the oval championship. And it looks pretty good. You know, I've never seen anybody do this swap before and I like it. I think it looks pretty unique. And the, the Purple Strap was unique anyways. So putting on the, the you know, block, your logo, the rectangular logo instead of the oval 
I said logo. I meant the, the, the plate, you jackass idiot, moron, dumb, stupid idiot, dumb. But it looks pretty good. I like it. You know, it does work well. It's like it conforms. It doesn't, you know, pop off. Some of these custom titles, sometimes when you bend it in, it will pop off. This one is not that way. And it turned out nice. So I'm pretty excited about that one. Moving forward, guys, we do have that Ghostbusters WWE Championship that we got with the Undertaker from that Ghostbusters WWE Mattel Elite set that's Walmart exclusive, which should be hitting your stores already if it hasn't already. Definitely go check that out but you guys can see it has like that translucent green strap going on and it's pretty solid you know the the main plate that came on that figure and the side plates was kind of just like a dull gold it didn't have any paint detail on it so i figured why not make our own version of that championship and switch it out with the main wwf championship and it has obviously the world logo in blue it has the black paint up here that says world you got heavy wrestling champion down here and it just looks pretty good man so i thought why not go ahead and put that all together it looks pretty good and again the the gold on those plates looks kind of weird it, it's not as like gold as this it's kind of lighter and kind of whatever but i like this you know again if you want a different strap color we've gotten it in light blue we've gotten it in white we've gotten it in black and now we have it in light green and then if you switch out those plates you have your own championship so there is that there's also the Bob Backlund version that has the black world logo that would probably look good as well, but this is what we got for now. Next up, guys, we have the North America Championship, but this is the one we switched out with one of these belts, I guess. It's not this one. I think it was the black version, but it's the same thing. Uh, we just switched out the WWF Championship middle logo, and while it does have the NXT uh, logos on the side plates, I don't think it looks bad, and we thought the other North American Championship custom with the blue strap and the black strap looked like a boxing title. This one for sure looks like a boxing title. You know, the North American middle plate, actually is kind of smaller than this so this really gives it that world class feel and it looks pretty good man i think that if anybody is out there and wants to do a pick fed this is a really prestigious looking championship i really am a fan of this one this is probably my favorite one in the bunch i like it a lot the thick strap that the north american championship has and everything that ties it together really looks wicked and just that brown color looks so good man and you also have the belt clip back here you also have your studs down here that they finally added to our championship belts i hope they do that in the future uh you you know with our, the rest of our championships i think that would be really cool and i think another thing that would be cool is if they added some gold paint to these that way when you strap it up it looks like it is uh you know strapped up i mean i know it does it if the last two right there but see if all of the if this was in gold it would add to it i think and that would be a pretty cool detail to add to it but let me know down in the comment section below guys do you think this belt looks good it low key may look better than the north american championship i don't know man let me know down in the comment section below but that one's easily my favorite and then the last championship that we have guys you know we had to throw in a white strap title we always try to include one in these videos and it is the european championship on a white strap and you guys already know that this is the obvious current day intercontinental championship looks pretty good i think it fits the strap pretty well man you got some leftover like strap down here but i don't think it changes too much it doesn't like affect it too much uh over here like the the plate just runs by the strap just a little bit but it fits well the side plates look okay with it i tried to put the european side plates on there did not work out the way i'd like so i went ahead and just kept the intercontinental championship ones on there and i like it man let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the european but i think that turned out well man i have clearly provided many many custom championship options Options for any pick fetters out there, IG pick fetters that want to like make some different custom championships. We have given you plenty of ideas here, and uh, I may not have made every cut. I feel like I've made every custom belt you could possibly make with what Mattel has given us as far as switching out plates and not using any paint, any sanding, anything like that. I feel like I've done every single strap slash title uh, like combination that you could possibly do without any sort of you know customization process needed. But I think all of these titles look fantastic. I am really excited for them. I'm really happy with the way they turned out i would love to know what you guys think down in the comment section below so please let me know which one is your favorite actually go back and watch the other videos as well let me know which one's your favorite all, of all time maybe that's going to be the next one the next one we're going to break down every custom figure championship i'm going to switch out all the plates all of that we're going to put that all together and we're going to do one massive big custom wwe championship figure collection and we're going to include the custom titles the mdt titles and the ones that i've gotten that are metal plated as well and we're going to get that going but that is going to do it for today's video guys maybe we can do that next time again comment down below your favorite it would really i would really really appreciate it we also broke down the wwe rosters following the wwe draft from last night so you guys can see here monday night raw over here smackdown over here definitely go check out that video on the channel i'd really appreciate it i would love to know your thoughts on all the analyzation on that thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you